Your safety is so important at the end of the day. A lot of people don't wear helmets because they think they look stupid. Maybe their friends will slag them. At the end of the day, it's so goddamn important. I recently saw on the news a kid that was on his bike hit his head and unfortunately he passed away instantly. So that's what the news said and it's really sad. So if you don't have a helmet on you now and if your scooter is really super fast. I think anything over like 15 kilometers per hour, you should really stick a helmet on. That's just my own personal opinion. But in this video, I'm gonna be going over two of the helmets that I would personally recommend. One of them is gonna be my Mongoose helmet that I've been using in my videos when I start making them on the scooter. That's this one. And then I'm not gonna show you just yet, but the next one is gonna be the Show Me commuter helmet that I only got over the past week. So I'm gonna be comparing both, telling my own personal opinion. And by the way, hook you up guys as well to save a few bob. The original one that I got was the Mongoose helmet as you can see here. To be honest, no issues whatsoever, except my head is about 58, 59 centimeters. I went along and I got the one that was recommended on the website, went, collected it, came home, didn't fit my head. So the sizes were a bit off. So I had to end up getting the large size in this helmet to make it fit my head correctly. And I think one of the reasons for this was the fact that the padding is quite thick around it, thick here, and the foam is really hard here and it's very thick and you don't really have a lot of give and you cannot exactly adjust the helmet like the back, but I'm gonna be showing you now in a second exactly what the Show Me helmet can do. But I'm gonna pop this on my head now. This is one of the cheaper alternatives. You don't have a lot of money. As you can see, it looks pretty cool. It's pretty uh, durable. It is quite thick here. Obviously, if you go face down, you know, it's gonna help protect your head a bit more. Some people recommend full face helmets. I personally don't like them. This is uh, linked below. If you wanna go and have a look, check out the prices on that one. The only thing I dislike about this, I guess, is it is a bit heavy. So sometimes if you've seen my commuter video, going on the bus, getting to work. If you missed out on any of my show me videos, actually, they're gonna be linked at the end of this and in the eye in the top right corner as well. I do put this in my backpack. It does weigh a little bit. So I personally didn't like it for that reason because I had to bring it around. It is quite chunky, but it's a good helmet if you, have, if you don't have a lot of money to spend. Now, over the past week, I've been waiting on the show me helmet to arrive. You guys have probably noticed that I'm, I like buying, buying all the branded Show Me. And if you actually missed out on my pump video, I bought the Show Me pump recently. To be honest, it's flipping amazing. Have a look at that video if you wanna go and have a look and you actually see me using it and pumping my back wheel and stuff like that. Here we go, this is the Show Me commuter helmet. So I'm gonna tell you now the best thing about this helmet. Number one, it's absolutely, it's adjustable at the back here. You just turn this, you can adjust the tightness of it, you can make it a bit looser and it has a bit more give. Not only that, the padding on the inside of this is nowhere near as thick as the Mongoose helmet. And what I f the immediately, the first thing I noticed about this was it's absolutely as light as a feather compared to the Mongoose helmet. You can see the size difference here. So this is the Mongoose helmet. This is the Show Me helmet. Now, which one looks better? The Show Me helmet, of course, looks better. But listen, each to their own, as you say. This is my own personal opinion on these helmets, by the way. So let's have a look at this on my head. Now, it feels absolutely, it feels actually amazing. It's very comfortable. You have the padded chin strap here. It feels good and firm on the head. You know, I feel safe wearing it, to be honest. And when I do put it in my backpack, it's, you know, it's, it's as light as a feather. And you have the breed holes here. There's plenty of air getting in. You're not sweating as much and stuff like that. But I'm gonna hook you guys up right now if you're interested in getting this Show Me commuter helmet, get it on eroids.ie, that's linked below in the description. And I'm after getting a 10% code of anybody that wants to get it, so you get 10% off this helmet if you wanna go and purchase it. But the 10% code is off everything on the website, and it's just the name of my channel when you get to the checkout area. Just type in Clear Learning, and you'll get 10% off anything you want. It's up to you if you wanna do that or not, Personally, it's probably one of the best boys that I've gotten so far off the scooter. Obviously, as you know, over the past while, I've been buying so many accessories for the scooter. And to be honest, I'm having so much fun checking out new things, but this would have to be one of the top boys and it looks pretty cool from below. But anyway, give this video a like, comment below. Do you wear a helmet? Do you not wear a helmet? What are your reasons for not wearing a helmet? Is it, does it look cool? Does it not look cool? I don't know. I'm just curious to know what you would, what you other guys think. But listen, check out the videos that are showing up on screen right now if you want. And in the meantime, stay safe. Stick a helmet on. Stick a high vis on. Maybe even put a chest cam on you if you can. Cheers, guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you in the next video.